Welcome back to part 30 of my Lockheed Fellheart Let's Play. Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time to kick things off today with a nice big battle at the Great Arena. What better location than a place called the Great Arena for a nice big old clash? The Order Resolve uh, says Spirit of Victory, medium casualties, and we would be losing our Corsairs. So, of course, we're going to be fighting it. We don't want to lose those units. Do you have a decent force? Plus, we've got Dark Conduit again. These monsters of the War Hydra and Medusa. Um, the army we're facing off against, though, ain't shabby at all. Plenty of missile troops are giving them loads of strength, but we should be able to shatter them with our superior infantry and monstrous creatures. So in we go. As always, thanks for your comments, advice, tactics, and suggestions are all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming, as well as those unit name suggestions over on part one of this series. Just crush more foolish Dark Elves that do not yet yield to the glorious Golden Kraken King. <laughs> Have any of you guys ever kind of crafted out your own, or, or, or do you craft out your own kind of roleplay scenarios or little stories to go along with your campaigns and characters? Just out of interest? I assume there must be a fair number that do actually. I feel like it goes kind of fairly hand in hand. Especially with something like Warhammer. Just general fantasy. Um, yeah, I can't get them around to those trees. What I will do then is keep them here. Explode out of the trees. We don't have any artillery though. That's what this army needs. Actually, thinking about it. What would I get rid of though for an artillery piece in this army? I mean, we're not, we probably, I'd probably actually say probably drop the Corsairs. Not all of them. Or potentially even say upgrade them to Executioners. Go down to two Corsairs slash Executioners. And then have either two Reaper Bolt Throwers or one Reaper Bolt Thrower. And then maybe swap out the Cavalry for, instead of Cold One Knights to Dread Knights and go for three of them. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm going to see if we can draw them to us just because I like... I'm actually going to move them forward. But I like the idea of... Yeah, kind of moving down here. Holding this little bit of high ground position. That's not going to quite work as I want to there. I mean, we can go either side of it, actually. Do that. And that stops them directly getting up at my missile troops. Thing is, I'm going to put all this effort in here, setting up nicely, and then I'm going to have to push them, probably. They've got the missile superiority, but if I can break them, perhaps, with my spellcaster... If I can break them with the spellcaster, perhaps, then maybe... That will force them into action, but it depends. We've got the cavalry to support there as well. Keep the Corsairs back in reserve for the moment. I mean, they might go for us considering that they've got the balanced power in their favor. They're currently swinging to face us, but are they going to turn... And keep the attack going, or they're just going to form up. No, it looks like they're fully going for it. Okie dokie. In which case, I'm going to send my spellcaster back to the lines then. Amazing. They are not Tyrant. Black guards. Yeah, ready to hold the line, mighty black guard. Cruel and deadly. Okay, they're going to hold there for now. That's fine because I can harass them with my. Spellcaster. That threat of their attack over here is going to be the main one. Is that Block of Doom? Yes, it is. That's what we're going to have to watch over there. In fact, I'm going to bring all of them over that side to hold. Crash into them here because we want them all bunched up. Explode out with the cavalry. Keep them busy. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Oh, my days. Medusa. Do 
try and break them with you wandering through that back line. No, don't go away. Okay, we got them a little bit. Okay, we are being shot to bits by a fair few of them. So, feel like we've got to get stuck in a fair bit. Otherwise, we're going to lose the Hydra. It's not the best path, but I'm just going to go through there to disrupt those three units. Cavalry's in. Go. Ready on to murder. Power them all up. Cry and aha. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Pull the black guard in. Okay, broken the crawl shots, but that's okay. Battle ready. Destroy. Pull one of you back that way. Keep going that way. Keep going. Exquisite. Yeah. Awaits. Kill oh, we've lost that unit of Blackguard. Damn. That's unfortunate. We are ready. But still, the victory would have seen us, the order result would have seen us lose. Four units. This way, we've only lost one. Yeah, they've gone. That's it. That's all we need to do. Just break them. Beautiful. Still a period victory. Those Medusa shots seem to be like turbocharging that. Absolutely turbocharged them. It was just like, unless I was missing some other shots coming from somebody else. Maybe it was the missile troops hitting at the same time as the Medusa. But those blasts seem to just rip through the missile troops health. That was great. Yeah, so just that unit. rippers but hopefully we can recruit another one that's a gold chevron anyway and then it's like ah happy days boom you only lost 402 uh, i could loot and occupy um we have only just reclaimed it it's more about the we don't want to get much gold for it it's more about the replenishment and the slave gain we've got plenty of slaves i i think i will just Play occupy here place. just because i know we have hit it Dread recently and yeah, they're replenishing up nicely we've got plenty of slaves and i don't want the control problems i mean it's not great there wouldn't have done a huge bit that's okay so we've reclaimed that province let's rush that through Get all the growth through and then we yeah, activate even more growth get ground up beautiful dread lord of the I, say, I don't think anyone's close enough Tyrant of we might be able to bring barbosa along though well let's just keep him there while you Supreme go and attack uh dargoth may their death be slow this passes for treasure Onto the frozen city. 
Yeah, now Barbosa can come back here. Lovely stuff. You're going to force march up here so that we've got a winnable fight against Hellebron. Still a period victory, really, even with the other army reinforcing. Okay, you're giving you're giving it good. Um, Hellebron, we'll fight that one then in a sec. Just play out the rest of our moves. Um, obviously, thanks everyone as always for the comments and tactics. Uh, I did see quite a few saying, do you really need to go after? Uh, hang on, just thinking, slave drive, yes please. Rush anything through for. Growth right now. In fact, I will even chuck that one in. Just so we maximize our growth. That. You could have that, but we might be able to after our battle. But yeah, do do I really need to go to war with the Wood Elves? Um, this is Twilight. I'm not at war with them yet. Someone, I think, did think that I was and saying peace out with them. I'm not at war with them yet. I think, though, I will probably still go to war with them or just, just see how they... I'm not going to go for them right now. I'm going to focus on Marathi with Lock here. But I feel like over time, they are trending down against me anyway. I feel like they cancelled that trade agreement last turn, so they probably in the next few will declare war on us. What I'm thinking is when these guys are all done over here, we will send two or three over to just break Malice and bring him into the fold. I'm not going to conquer all the way along there. I don't need to go after Sigvald. All I want to do is collect all the Dark Elf Pokemon and bring them all to my banner. Uh, to be honest, I'm not even that fussed about keeping these regions. I might just go through and sack them all and then leave them or take them and then trade them to someone like Sigvald so that he really, really likes me and doesn't bother me and keeps my flank secure. So feel free to weigh in on that. Um, but yeah, I just want to collect all the Dark Elf Pokemon. Um, I guess from a role play perspective, we want to control all of Nagarond and the surrounding area. So it kind of makes sense to take this land. But the other reason, the main reason why I'm considering it is that it just gives me a nice, easy, secure path to then strike the donut from all these points. Plus supporting Lock here, who's down here on his own. And I imagine he will still be down there on his own by the time we get additional forces. So, I mean, how many armies have I got? I've got three here. So I could actually free up this army immediately and send it down towards Lock here, which I'm kind of tempted to do. But I'm just thinking along the way, why doesn't this force smash through these sisters? Although probably for that, I'd probably want to send two armies. So I might send... That one needs a retrofit. What I'm thinking is actually this could get turned into another Black Art force and then Elizabeth could recruit a whole new fresh army. But for us to do that... We need to gain a lot more gold. So, yeah, lot, lots of things to think about and consider. Uh, but I, I do think... Um, sorry, not sorry, but what else have got to go? This is Dark Elf land. Uh, there was some suggestion saying trade this, this territory that's uh, uninhabitable um, to them because they can probably utilize it better. They could, but I, I'd rather them all just serve me directly. Yes, the public order's not great here. I'm going to have to do something about that. I mean, we can control it with the Dictat. Um, although, yeah, even that is just keeping an eye on it. That's uh, not ideal. I'm going to just get things trained that way. We're going to have to build some more public order buildings. That's for sure. Let's stop this trending all the way down. Uh, provincial instability is probably the main one. Then it will just about even out. I mean, that one's minus one. Uh, Principal instability minus three, minus one per turn. So yeah, that will actually eventually go positive even with the climate hits to it. As long as we keep popping those slave diktats in there to uh, boost control, we should be fine. Plus, we can have it on demand highborn hostages uh, for a lot of these too. Right, lock it. You are going to take Tyrant Peak in your smash. Um, I mean, looting and occupying does not help the public order out here. But it's what we do, so take, take it. Uh, do I want that there? Yeah, eventually, but not right now. That's fine. It's all the all the corruption. Like I say the corruption's got to be hitting it as well, surely. Unless you up corruption minus eight. I didn't actually look at how that was affecting things. Uh, yeah, minus nine. What about up here? There is some corruption, but not much. Uh, minus one it's adding to. So yeah, it's, it's all all stuff that's adding to it. All stuff that's adding to it. So we definitely need to reduce that when we can. So something like that for corruption reduction actually would be good. So let's do that, yeah. 
Uh, where was it? It was up over here, right? That I saw another place where I could build. There we go. Orchards. Nice. What did my gold just income just dropped? Wasn't it up to like 2k? Why is it dropped down now that I've rushed that through? Oh, uh, because it's projecting that we're going to lose slaves. More slaves now, I think. I think. I think that's what it's just done. We'll see once we take out Hellebron. Um, I mean, I could go through Cordmaster to make things cheaper, but we want to power up Mr. Fellhart. Sacrifices to Mathlan. Nagaroth. Okay, you're chilling there. <laughs> Cruel and mm. deadly. Nice. Also, I did. I did, did enjoy the comment. It was like Lionheart worrying about trespassing against uh, Western provinces and affecting the relations that way when he's been sat there raiding them for twenty plus turns. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I forget these things sometimes. Uh, that's a shipwreck. We can go to that. Um, this is the army we're bringing down the Malekith, which we're going to retrofit, actually, aren't we? Tyrant, Lord of the which, Black hang on, if I'm going to retrofit it, why don't we just trade the rest table. into this this fleet, your Wally? Ah, oh, nuts. Okay, right, I'm going to have to Sail bring you around that way. Why is that trespassing? Because it goes on there crossing for a second. I right, yeah, go later. trade something, because we're just going to recruit the best units for, for, Nagar for Nagaron, for Malekith. Ready to ravage. Okay. Um, Sailing. There we go. Explore the islands. Yeah, that, that bugs control. out, doesn't it? That one there that spawns around that point. You never actually get anything from it. Critters submit. That's the second time it's yes. happened there. Uh, okay, what we'll do is we'll just Beware go back this way to link on up with that. That black art, then we'll bring them all down. That's yes. fine. Um, we can see them over there. We could have a clash of, of we could have clash of the um, Nemesis crowns, clash of the crowns. We've got some decent force there, so I'm hoping Malekith's going to have some Attention. fun over here. Be quite interesting. A loyal first mate. Renowned and feared. Yep. Well, that's going to help you out a fair bit. And Astrocratic. Use an impact priest lord's army combat. Skill. No, go for the lord's army buff. Tempest, Cold One Knights, or Shadow Dart. Oh, range. Yeah. So I guess we know what we're going to swap these units out with. Um, again, that kind of supports me putting them into another Black Arc. You guys are going to go for Shades. Big on Shades. In fact, I might go for like six of them. Six with great swords. Okay, I need to have a rethink of that force then. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're chilling there. We can see what's going on here. Really bad. You waste my time. All of this attacking that I'm doing no. towards Marathi is clearly isn't bothering her enough to relent her attack Power on the elves. Awaits. You haven't removed... Jack. No, uh, you could go after Sissio, couldn't you? Get some extra gold. Why not? They are a foe. Right, yeah. So they got taken out. The master Bastard needs to come back. I will... There is an island over there. Send you down. Hmm. It's a long way to go till we uh, get replenishment, probably. Oh, we do have military access. Okay, so yeah, we should be able to go over to um, Old Kugar then. Although it's the corruption's going to wreck us, isn't it?
that's suitable so i should be able to avoid the corruption i don't know if i can avoid it in channeling stance to replenish if not we'll have to go down towards poldark who's claimed the elven outposts um and then we're gonna send you off towards Rakath, which actually that other that's what that army may well be needed for to support i mean you could push out another army but we could also send it off uh, i'm gonna start sending you up in case we need help with the replenishment no threats there right now you're scouting through here that we got spawned in vicious Just chill that. And then, yeah, how long till Malakas back? Two turns. Cool, 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 cool. We should have him back this episode. Um, Yeah, it's just Jack Spatter. Slaughter oh, why am I going back over here? Stop it. Oh, uh, yeah, Jack Sparrow. And I was like, we haven't we haven't done this one either yet, have we? We haven't fought against Celebron. Um, yeah, okay, right. Plenty of battles today. Yeah, do it. I am denied. Spirit victory, not losing anybody. It'd be nice to fight them all. That one is the blood banner. Charge bonus. Uh, that's going to be on you guys. Nice, nice, nice. On the black arc, of course. We've got a bomb ball. Oh, it should be fine then. Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. You know, while we start deployed down there, surely we should be up here. <laughs> How do you get on the ship? Uh, turn around, lads. We are ready. Oh well, it's fine. Rookie. Yeah, I'm going to have you guys in the main line, I've decided. Oh, that's the shrine, isn't it? Got some witch elves. Seriously, the abs. I'm impressed. I mean, they just live for slaughter, right? So, of course, they're absolutely stacked. Plus, if they're not scary enough, Medusa just slithering and hissing with everybody. Who's your good schnick? So yeah, you can, you can lead the Dread Knights. Gunners. Oddly, don't have any artillery with them. Do they? Oh, no, they have carronades. I was like, hang on. They must have some, surely.
hit him with everything. Harass him with my mage as well. Trying to shoot me dragon, I think. Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah, they're coming. I tell you what, get close enough to um, pendulum through, would you? He's got to go take out the... Artillery. Get all of them there. Better bing, better boom. Certain death. Cavalry. Dread knights and them. He's terrified. Where to? Pain, suffering, death. Away. In Get away. Dread knights. Trex Colossus as well, actually. Black guards striking out. Black guards. Slash kill. Advance, rookie. If you wouldn't mind, Mr. Charybdis, we could use some help. Just hit them. Just about. Master Trookie! 
suffering for all. Attack! No mercy! Paul says, onward! Onwards to murder! Die! Master Druki! There's the crumbly crumble. I can withdraw. There we go. Yes, got him. Bolt throwers. Now go Ruffy. Dread Knights. Very victory. I think we will just survive. Maybe those hambos are looking a little bit ropey. But more slaves. Slaves and gold. Yep, they just survived. Nice. Enslave them. Yeah. When we drop below that, we lose our income from, from slaves. So that really helps out keeping that up. Nice. Hold well on, Jack. We shall name a monkey after you to celebrate. Yar. Such slaughter awaits. Uh, got all the quartermaster. More healing. <laughs> Narp, narp, narp. Uh, we should power up your Corsairs a bit more, shouldn't we? Dreadlord of Nagaroth. Done all your training. Done your other bits and pieces. Dark Pegasus. Tyrant. Okay. Black Court. Um, you could upgrade for the better troops we want for Malekith, so yep. And for like some black dragons in there as well. Probably be right up his street. Won't worry about that, just check we're gonna have another battle in a second before we can finally end this turn. Go! Yeah, we go, it's Pyrrhic victory. We're losing our Corsairs, some of them, and the uh, Crows of Cain. But I don't think it's taking into account our very powerful second army, so we're just gonna sit back, relax, wait for them to come on in. And then smash the crone into bits. Uh, is it a settlement? Ah, right. Would she sally? Would she sally out against us? Because actually, I might as well wait a turn and have the other ones not in force march, right? Yeah. Let's just do that. Let's just wait. Then it's either a slam dunk, or we still fight it, but we're not going to be tired. So I'll take that. Right, in the ten. Eliminate Hellebron in battle. Oh, there we go. That was perfect waiting then. Happy days. Got a mission for it. Yeah, you're taking attrition. I just want to see if we can sort you Supreme out. Sorceress of Grant. Prepare yourselves. Calling the wind. So I can avoid attrition if we just go here. No corruption. Yeah, I mean, there's nowhere safe here, is there, to go up into to claim anyway. See, if you could only populate this part of the map, that'd be great. <laughs> Tyrant of Nagaroth. Plotting a course. We're Poldark's on the way. In fact, I'll pull you down here so we can replenish it over there, potentially on land. And if we can't, then no worries. Why can I see what's going on down here? Look here, Felhart. They're all part of it, aren't they? By the cruel sea. Oh, oh, oh. I will not. Oh, no. I refuse this insolence. 
Oh no. Admiral of Kars fleet. Oh no. I'm gonna be facing both I armies, aren't I? Oh no. It is time. Oh, we've made a boo-boo here, guys. Uh your words are nothing. What is this foolishness? I'm gonna take the settlement. Slaughter and enslave. Yeah, loot not occupied. So that should get us fully replenished. But they're surely going to attack with both force. They can both reach me in normal starts. And let's, unless leaving Tyrant Peak open is a very tempting target. Uh, I can't even, yeah, upgrade it. What I could do though, oh, I can't, I can't rush that through without slaves. Might be able to come back and do that. So let's not do it for now. Let's come back to that. Mm, just looking at our army. I'll have to sn snipe her out. Knock her out with Locke here. His his force is strong. Like, I could definitely deal with Marathi's army, even though it's way stronger than mine. I reckon I could deal with it. But it's the this fact that this other fail. army isn't just a trash follow-up no. army. It's a pretty potent, capable force in its own. Ah, well, I guess we we have the answer to the question of, bet we're not distracting uh, Marathi's force from the donut. Looks like we are. So, well, you you're welcome, time. High Elves. Didn't think I'd be saying that, but yeah, you're welcome. You might not want to lose Lothurn, though, just a heads price. up. You might want to keep him back. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. Such terrible concoction. Can't see with many forces out in the boot, though. Right, okay. Jack, quick, get down here. Uh, I can just go in normal start story for that one. That's fine. Right, uh, Barbosa. Go there. Do that, which means you guys should now be able to get that. At Gold Chevron Veteran C, so yeah, that is A-OK. -okay. Um, maxed out. Close so victory, medium casualties. We don't need to fight it, but I, you know, part of me kind of wants to. To face the crone, although we have had plenty of battles today. Not To be fair, the Marathi battle, I'm more interested in that. So, I, okay, I will take the old resolve here. It's not a great army for her. If it had been a bit more interesting, then maybe I'd have been like, yeah, let's fight that. Do not fight. Defeated Helebron. That is a good, nice little boost and boon. Um, we need to be able to take out old Malice, don't we? But he's thankfully getting beaten fairly comfortably by these guys. But he looks like he's got at least two solid armor. How many, how many have you come to characters here? Four. Four, four, four. Those, those four that we can see there. That's it. That's it. So two armies and a Black Ark should be more than capable. That army's perfectly capable. Blood this one in support. Or turn into a black arc and get some other ones. I think that's fine. So what I'm going to do with you. Oh, yeah. Ring fire Ooh. Terror. Yeah, what supporting? Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Let's turn you straight around. Get you down here into that portal. Dreadlord. I mean, we could even... Oh, why? Yeah, why the heck did I not send Jack that way? Lord of the Black Lord. I had him up here. Why didn't I send him? Oh, I totally forgot about. Why? Yeah, I should have sent him that. This, that's way better. This is going to be way quicker as well, isn't it? To come help him out, especially. Well, it depends if he gets beaten, and then he's got to go around this way. So one arc from that. No, you know what? Keep him going this way. But we could send Barbosa. We could send Barbosa down. Malevolent Lord. Dark Sorceress. Yeah, we're doing your spells, then we'll come back and do your blue line. Nice, 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 nice. Powerful Sorceress. Cruelty and violence. We need more of defense, Elizabeth. Mm -mm, yeah. What?
What now? The gods might compel You're a vassal me of the Decant Holy. It's kind of annoying you've got all that there, but I don't really want a war with Sivar. Just because, I mean, these two regions here, yeah, and that one is good for us. I mean, I could... Could and then I guess peace out with him, maybe just to grab those bits. They are suitable, but I don't. I wouldn't want any of what Sigvald's got. Really, I mean, yeah. Saint Malisol was gonna just sack and raise them. I mean, we've taken these ones here just because it gives me a path to Marathi, and we need that to get down to her anyway. Is that going to finish off Helebron? It is. That, that's what I want. I'll accept that Helebron. Enchantress. I have dark purpose. Is Helebron a spell cast? I forget. Or is she a fight? Because I was thinking Helebron could have replaced this one otherwise. Dreadlord or could drinking. replace... The, um, yeah, actually, yeah, she was meant to replace this one. Because that's where we put the Blades of Blood Queen. Yeah. Feared by cool, 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 cool. Um, we can form that. That's not going to help me out right now. What I need is that one, if anything. Given the current situation and predicament we find ourselves in. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. Sailing. Right, I'm going to get rid of some stuff. So let's just fill you up with everything I'm not going to use. I'll keep the Medusa for Malekith. I'll get rid of the do I even want Dread Spears? Uh, not really. Uh, I'm just going to give you four of them. I'm going to give you Cold One Knights actually as well. And then... Team Cheerful. You need one more which would be a Spellcaster. Which, I mean, to be honest at this point... Well, we are going to keep those ones. If we're not going to keep anything else, I don't really need... I don't even know if I'm going to keep the Medusa, to be honest, at this point. We can just recruit everything we need Dreadlord from this one. With Malekith next turn. It's not like we're going to be close enough Lord to it anyway to start recruiting. Yeah, okay, bye-bye to you guys. Cruel and deadly. You need a sorceress, but you need the right building for it. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to yes. send you back over here then. For the wicked. To watch. Master Druki. That's occurring. Sorceress. Lord of fear. Pride of madness. Malicious deeds await. Timmy, Tim, 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 Tim. Sacrifices to Mathlan. Can rush that through. So we'll see if that's enough to draw Marathi that way. Black-hearted dreadlord. So got plenty of gold for the moment. Oh, hello, income. Oh, what, what, what the? Oh, because I've disbanded that other force. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Right. Yeah. That gives us that gives us plenty to play with. <laughs> Amazing. That's got the growth camp there, so I don't want to put any of those. Check them out. More growth. Get that one maxed out first. I think you're going to need your public order buildings in these lands, but that's fine. Yeah, that's everything. Right, let's see if I've made a big old boo boo here with Marathi. It's close defeat. Close defeat. We'll give it our best damn go. Up into the high ground corner. Don't mind if I do. Lesson learned. Always scout out the fog of war. 
the problem is as well, both of our forces are just really good. Chock full of quality troops. Better than the, the troops that Lockyer's got. Okay, we've got great veterancy and stats on them. But not enough to overcome two... Probably some of the, the strongest Dark Elf force that can be arrayed against us. Um, so we could pull back here. I'm quite inclined to push along this bit because that camp acts as another little terrain block. We could hold here and then across this bit to the trees. Actually, I think that might be better and then force them up here. Narrow choke points. Yeah, let's do that because, in fact, we can deploy our forces here anyway from the start. She's probably going to wait for our reinforcements to come in after two minutes. For Oof. I'd almost be tempted to just char charge at her, but then I think that would put us in a bad, bad position. For her reinforcements to then just strike us. I mean, I wanted to tweak Lockheed's army a little bit, but I still wanted to keep a good, solid contingent of uh, Corsairs. If anyone wants to very briefly... Do me a massive solid and just take down the names that I'm highlighting. Uh, Mathlands Marauders, Obsidian Blaze, Dark Ironborn, The Drowned Blades, Whistling Death, Kraken Bolts, Lockheed Sharp Shots, Prey Takers. Um, because those will be the ones that we want to bring back into Lockheed's army when we, re when we rebuild it. That'd be incredible. Um, okay, hit them. There, we'll move forward with those guys. Um, a Charybdis and a Hydra. We'll have to get the Hydra into position once the battle starts. You guys are just going to sit here. Um, yeah, we do have the Knights of the Ebon Claw, which I could have up here or I could have over this way to try and strike some stuff. You know what? I'll keep them over here and we've got the Raven Heralds to go and harass them a bit. Yeah, I think that's how it's going to go. Bolt throwers up here. Hydra, this way, please. Go try and harass the manticore. Actually, does that act as a blocker through there? I think we can move through it, actually. But still, it might mess them up about a little bit. You guys go there, and then actually, yeah, you guys are just gonna have to go up round like so. Bolt throwers, Kruki forward. Going. Sorcerers of God. Noble born. Kruki. I'm just gonna wait for those uh, reinforcements. Maybe though, if I can pull the Vanticall back. Oh, they do. They do have a bolt thrower. Okay. Maybe if I could pull the Manticore away and then we could shoot it down, that'd be cool. Otherwise, I mean, I could go in and Pendulum. How many? Ooh, I do not have much power reserve at all, in fact. Okay, so I need to save all that for Pit of Shades as they press the attack. Go forward a little bit, Bolt Throwers. Bring down the Manticore. Might as well take out one unit. One down. Many more to go. Murder awaits. Onward. Eager for battle. Wanna go for a multi shot. Where she is Marathi. She's over this way. She's level fifty as well. I mean she used to be been storming her way through. The High Elves. Look how rapid she was as well. There's another Manticore over there. Blood Rat Medusa. They've got more artillery. Okay, so that is a solid job for you guys. If we can get you round to them. There we're coming. It would almost be tempted to like lock them in, lock them in there, and around those points. Don't have enough troops though to spread across properly. 
I don't think. So we're going to have to draw them up here. That's going to spread wide, which isn't exactly what we want. But I don't think there's a way to do this how we want to. Is the uh, the realization that has dawned upon us. If I can go get this onto them there, it could be pretty good. You guys seem to be getting some good shots off, though. I need you guys moving much faster because there's so many monsters. God, I think it's so close. Oh, yeah, they got the three over that side. Just with the monsters alone, I'm not going to be able to get through it. No. That should be a perfect pit of shades. Got our back. Move back further. Lock here. Damage is nasty. Cavalry go. Oh no, he's get absolutely wrecked by Marathi. Boom. She got a bit of shades off there as well. Oh my day, she's just absolutely ruined everything there. There's no way. We are, ready. We are overrun. That much damage to bring her down. It's broken already. I'm not going to get another dark conduit either, unfortunately. Now we know why she's been so successful at storming on through the dark, uh, through the high elves on the donut with these sorts of armies.
No, that's them all gone. Valiant defeat. And unfortunately, there is no retreat for us. We are locked into that settlement. No retreat. 588 kills with uh, Tim. I mean... Weakened her a little bit. She'll take a few turns to replenish. Yikes. Was not... Expecting that. Should have expected that, but was not. Don't be scared by my helm. As in... Okay. What's this? Oh, the dagger. Cost of three thousand gold. Uh, worth worth getting it. Yeah. Cut the smith's throat. Malekith is back. No, <laughs> you'd almost say like Bastards now bring looking. now bring Malekith back over to um, drop him in to lead for now. Um, I will not. Hmm. She, she's weak. I mean, they're immediately marching there. Current peak. Oh, there's another army up here. Let's come on no. through from Quintex. Yeah, I, my line. I've stretched too far down. I was considering about going for Ice Lord Gord, wasn't I? But I decided to just keep pushing this way. And now I'm cut off. I'm going to have to throw probably an army in at Clarax Spire. What we can do, though, is kick out. It's going to upset you guys a little bit, but I can with Barbosa, he can jump out here and we can kick out a fresh force then to immediately start replacing Locke here. So I think that's Black what we're going to have to do. Oh, it's so annoying though. You are... They're still recruiting though, aren't they? Can you not just go and recruit from there? Yeah, I mean, it's going to slow you down because otherwise I'd be bringing that force as well. But this one could be coming down. Uh, I could have you both coming next turn, I guess. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. And then we can wait to deploy a lot. Well, we could mm, we could start deploying a lock here replacement over here, I guess. Malekith's ready, but lock is going to be out for four turns. Malekith, I think I should stick with my plan of bring of popping him over in. Um, well, building him out here and going Dreadlord for the Nemesis Crown, and then waging brutal war against Cathay. So getting ready for that. Tyrant of Nagaroth. Although we could also argue that we Such could. He's going to be getting straight into all these guys. Do we need to? I mean, it's, it's basically we're doing that with Malekith to get us loads of slaves and additional income. But are we are we covered for? I'm not sure we are actually, you know. Because they're pretty solid. It would be fun for Malekith to do. But is it wise for us to do right now? Would it be better? Would it better serve us? Throwing Malekith out to make a stand at Tarak Spire to then be replaced with Locke and then kick Malekith out over in Cathay to potentially go over there. I mean, we should have the funds to do stuff. We've got forces going down there. That's fine. Um, yeah, I should leave that another turn. Then sail Barbosa in. You're going to go knock out Hellebron. Um, and then... We were going to chuck these guys into a new Ooh. black arc, weren't we? And Nagra and send those two to go after Malice. So I guess that's our plan. But are we popping in a random lord here? Or are we going to throw in Malekith for now just to hold the region? So that the maximum amount of, of uh, territory we lose is sort of three. Until Barbosa hits in and we can pin them and then push. Pin and push. So, yeah, very much for now, we are going to forget about worrying about the Sisters of Twilight and focus on Marathi, who has come back to face us with a vengeance. Well, until the next one, that is where we're going to wrap things up for today. Hope you've all enjoyed. Until the next one, take care and ciao for now.